The first album I remember buying with my own pocket money is Cheeky Girls Party Time. Now, there are a few things that you can deduce from that. First of all, my taste in music at the time was probably as peculiar to some people as it is now. The other thing, I was 11. If that's the first time I'd personally bought money, bought a CD with my pocket money, kind of suggests I wasn't that big into music. I'm still not. So I'm not discussing this from the perspective of somebody who's got all of the knowledge about the music world and knows all of the terminology. I prefer films to music. This is not not a secret. But I am revisiting this album from a nostalgic perspective to see if this still lives up to... I was going to say the hype, but that's perhaps not the right word for it. It did reach number 14 in the UK Albums Chart that year, 2003. But needless to say, I don't think this is anybody's all-time favourite album. That being said, when I hear this album... It brings back so many happy memories because it reminds me of summer. The summer during a very carefree time in my life. You know, when you're in the last few years of primary school, you're top dog in the school, you're getting excited about going to secondary school, you've still got six or eight weeks of summer holidays and you love the Cheeky Girls and you've just got their new album. Life is perfect. I'm exaggerating, but I do thoroughly enjoy this. I'm really pleased to say that actually when I sat down and listened to it the memories came flooding back and I enjoyed it as much as I did then. I'm sure if I listened to this for the first time now it would be a different story but I thoroughly enjoy it. There are a couple of songs on it that I don't really care for but it does of course start with the cheeky song Touch My Bum. Needless to say horrifically sexist song encouraging harassment It was 2003, we didn't care. If you're unaware of the Cheeky Girls, they auditioned for... Was it Pop Idol? Was it The X Factor? The very first X Factor. No, X Factor was 2004. It was Pop Stars The Rivals. And obviously Monica and Gabriella became sensations. They would have become internet viral superstars had the internet been a bigger thing at the time. They went on to release Cheeky Song Touch My Bum. It's very bad. But I love it. The song itself actually um, did very well. I'm not entirely sure where it got to in the charts. I will try and check while I'm... It reached number 10 in the Netherlands. It reached... It spent four non-consecutive weeks at number two. Number two in the UK singles charts. So maybe it's not just my taste in music that's um, questionable. Anyway, it starts with a cheeky song. Of course it does. Then we go into Salsa and the Disco, which I think is very upbeat, very lively. These are all very dancey songs, which is what you get from the Cheeky Girls. They are primarily dancers rather than singers, may become very apparent. But number three is my favourite. And I, even today, I genuinely love this song. Partly because it brings back so many happy memories, but partly because it's just so uplifting. And that's Take Your Shoes Off. And if you listen to it, It will put a smile on your face, mostly for the nostalgia, but it reminds me of school discos. This was often played at school discos. A lot of us danced to it a lot. I really like it. Um, Get the Party On is a little bit slower, but still a dance number, and the lyrics are a lot easier to sing. Um, The same with Celebration and Summer Fun. But another one that I love, and I think was released as a single in its own right, was Hooray, Hooray. It's a cheeky holiday. Um, obviously, this is um, based on the Boney M song, Hooray, Hooray, It's a Holiday. But slightly altered to fit the cheeky girls and their style. At the time, I don't think I was aware of any other version. So this is kind of my go-to source for this song. And, you know, we have kind of steel drums in there. And it's, you know, a very summery vibe. As is the rest of the album for the most part. Um, Mickey Blue, uh, track number eight is a little bit more gentle and a little bit more mellow. And this is the point in the album where I start to lose interest. Now, I do like the rest of the songs on here. I will listen to them. I won't skip them if I'm listening to the album. Um, Or I never used to. As I said, I don't listen to this album now. But revisiting it has made me kind of want to do that. Because it does bring back some really happy memories. Um, But Mickey Blue, yeah, is a lot softer. And then we have 
just really quickly, Hip Hop, Magic, Espanola Dream and Follow My Star. None of those I really remembered very well. Having listened to them again, I can kind of work out that they are interesting enough. And I could remember them having listened to them. But I wasn't really that bothered about any of them. Espanola Dream, maybe? But because it's not in the vibes of the rest of the upbeat songs on this, the end of the album is a little bit more gentle. It's just not what I wanted from it. There were apparently um, re-released bonus tracks, which I didn't have. I I bought the album as soon as it came out. Big, big fan. Definitely needed it. Um, but they also had We Go Together, Mega Mix, and Have a Cheeky Christmas. I have listened to Have a Cheeky Christmas. Um, it's brilliant definitely um this album for me as i said the first that i remember buying with my pocket money and i had a lot of fun with it you know i probably burned that disc out almost back in the day when cds were still prevalent and i loved it the nostalgia i still love take your shoes off as soon as i hear it that's it i'm 11 years old again for me because of that despite what pretty much every other person will feel I will always love the Cheeky Girls album. 